Hi, I'm Candy Bicono from OpenQRM Enterprise. I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough of our Infrastructure as a Service demo cloud available online. Simply visit openqrm-enterprise.com, go to the link Products and Demo. Let me scroll down a bit for you. To check out the demo cloud, simply register a new account. I'll do this for you here. Submit. And you've successfully registered to the cloud. Now, you will receive an email. This is your activation email. All you need to do is simply copy your token. Click on the link. Paste the token. And you're registered. Now, let's log into the cloud. As you see, you have a general overview. You have the choice between six languages, German, English, Spanish, French, Italian, or Dutch. Additional languages are easily added to cater for your customers. Now, let's move on. We'll build a new instance. We have integrated a shortened workflow with default selections, just to make sure that you can start off quickly. Now, here we have KVM, VM. You can add additional types as you like, different images, disk space, memory, CPUs, network, etc. Interesting here is that I can assign up to four networks with self-assignable IP addresses from predefined pools. Now you could also choose a uh, specific IP address from the predefined pool, but I'll just leave this on auto and let OpenQRM take care of that itself. Moving down here, Continue with the automatic application configuration. You can configure all parameters in detail. Now, let's say we want a uh, web server. Next point here, high availability. Also very interesting. Now, high availability in OpenQRM is a built-in feature. So basically, it's only another cloud product that can be clicked or not. Let's take high availability now. What you may have noticed at the bottom of the screen is that this area here keeps changing. Now, this is the billing that we've integrated in OpenQRM for you. Um, we have a generic cloud currency unit, CCUs, that can be mapped to any currency you like, in this case, US dollars. The billing can also be integrated with any billing system at your company via API. So we have customers where every cloud request goes straight to SAP for the billing, for instance. Another important part here as well, individual user limits can be set just to make sure that the users stay within their set budgets as well. Now you can add a host name, you can add extra parameters, and you can save the profile. So I'll just save this profile. Let's call it profile one. And submit. So here you see we have profile one. Let's just make a new instance, another one, just to be sure. We'll make this one a Ubuntu. We'll give it five gigs. We'll give it one gigabyte, two CPUs, and we'll take two networks, which we'll leave on auto. This one we'll make an open stack by a puppet. Host name we'll leave free. We don't have any extra param parameters here. And we'll save this one as profile two. Now we have two profiles in here. Now, if we go to instances, you'll see we have no instances at the moment, but we have these two profiles. So we'll just load this profile. We'll give the host a name. Call this one host1. One. So here you see my requested instance is now ready. It's all new. Let's go to home and see if anything's changed here. Oh, you can see I have one paused instance. Now if I go to new instance again, let's say I'll take profile2. I'll call this one host2 and submit. So here you can see we have the 
two instances in the cloud already. One waiting for approval, one requested by cloud user. Let me go back to the dashboard. Here you can see that the user dashboard has changed with the real-time stats. You can see my active instances. You have my limits. I have four instances max. That means I have two free, two active. I see how much disk space I have, etc., etc. Now, each of these shows me exactly how much is free, how much is active, how much is POS. I have a great overview as a user how much capacity I still have available. Incidentally, you can also see which instances have been automatically paused. Automatically pausing instances means for you that data center resources are freed again. So we're done with our walkthrough. We only need to log out now. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to try out the demo, visit us openqrm-enterprise.com. Or if you'd like to try out a full evaluation at your company, just contact us. We'll be happy to send you one. So have a great day and thanks again.